My name is Rosemary Samia. I'm the director of the Center for Clinical Education and Research at the University of Massachusetts in Boston. We are primarily serving undergraduate nursing students in our simulation lab. Uh, approximately 600 are in the clinical courses at the present moment. Why did you decide to add Sim Capture for Skills to your program? So the number one thing about Sim Capture for Skills is that it creates consistency among all of the students. It's implemented in all of the labs. Everybody's following the same checklist. And for a program outcomes, we can be sure that everybody is, is practicing and completing the skill in the same way. Nursing schools have to prepare their students for the transition to practice. So we started using Sim Capture for Skills because we wanted to track our students' utilization of their practice time. And also having um, a transition to an electronic checklist let us uh, see where the students were having the most trouble in particular skills, where we could then focus our, our attention in teaching. How has Sim Capture for Skills impacted or improved your training? So bringing in Sim Capture for Skills has had a tremendous impact on our program, specifically around the health assessment course. Our students complete a midterm performance exam where they need to reach a certain benchmark. And if they don't meet that, they are required to come in and they perform a remediation with some graduate students. And in the past, it was a very um, time-consuming process. They would meet in small groups, you know, one or two students with a graduate student. So peer-to-peer, -peer, we were able to incorporate that into the remediation, especially as our courses got bigger. We didn't have the time, we didn't have the space, the faculty to deliver the amount of remediation needed. We put them in groups of three, and in a one-hour period, with graduate student availability, the students would each participate as the learner, where they were practicing the skill. The facilitator, who was using that peer-to-peer -peer checklist and doing the assessment, and then the third student would serve as the patient. So in a very short period of time, a student was exposed to all three roles, right? They did the assessment, they evaluated somebody else, and then they had the assessment performed on them. And the biggest impact that that had was it decreased the time that we needed to spend on remediation and reserving lab space. But most importantly, we saw over a couple of semesters, our remediation rates went from, um, I think it was 60 students to nine. It, that we had a significant increase um, in first time pass rates. How has Sim Capture for Skills changed the way you conduct remediation? So at UMass Boston, we have implemented uh, data collection and assessment in multiple areas. One, we have the students who are working together, they're assessing each other. The students also assess the faculty using uh, vetted tools uh, after they've completed their simulation sessions. Um, faculty are assessing each other and we can really make big changes. We've had um, a significant improvement in the, the teaching that has been delivered um, because faculty are able to take that data and see where there, there is room for improvement and where their strengths are. And once we capture that, then we can pair faculty together. We can, we can put students who are really strong in one area together. We've got a whole nurse mentor program that has come out of this. And so your data really does, I say it all the time, it tells a story, but you have to be able to read what the data is telling you and then do something with it. <laughs>